What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we are making buffalo chicken dip. That's right, buffalo chicken dip. Just in time for the big game next week. I can tell you who I'm gonna vote for. I'm not voting. That was done. <laughs> I can tell you who I'm gonna root for, but you're gonna have to wait till the end. So at the end of the video, you'll see who I'm rooting for. Is it the older guy or the little young whippersnapper guy? I'll let you know at the end, stick around for that. If you are new to the channel, what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. If you're a current subscriber, thank you guys for all the support. We really do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. We are gonna start off by making some ranch dressing from our Hidden Valley Ranch dressing packets. Follow the instructions on the packets. I highly recommend this. You can buy the ranch uh, in a bottle or you can use the classic blue cheese. I don't wanna hear an argument or debate. I'm just, this is a preference in my opinion. I prefer ranch and I really prefer this ranch dressing that you make with the packets. It is so much better than just the ranch you get in the bottle. So follow the instructions, very simple, couple ingredients, mayonnaise, milk, ranch packet, mix, put it in the fridge, let it cool down, and it is awesome. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Now we take a rotisserie chicken, which are super easy to find, any grocery store, and you're just gonna pull this apart and get all the meat off of there. Take off the skin. You don't want that for our buffalo chicken dip, but you do want the meat. So take off the skin, discard, and get all the all that juicy, beautiful meat you can get out of there. And that's gonna be the base for our chicken dip. All right, so we continue here. Just take off those wings and even the small pieces like the wings you can get tons of meat out of there and I really like the dark meat so the wings and the thighs especially uh, get as much meat as you can but you know get rid of the skin and then finally we break apart the breasts take out that breastbone any kind of bones you can and the goal here is to get rid of all the skin and all the bones you really want to pick this apart you do not want to have bones in your buffalo chicken dip because that would just be no bueno <laughs> so that's it once you get them apart you're going to give it a rough chop here with a knife turn it to the side do the same thing rough chop and you at, and here's where you're kind of inspecting just to make sure there's no bones that were left and you you definitely will find some which i did and just make sure you take them out that's all and that's it it's real simple you're deboning and de-skinning the chicken chopping it up right here pretty fine because remember there's going to be a dip and that's it we move these off and that's what it looks like right here perfect just like that and that's it put them into our big mixing bowl which is where we're going to mix all of our ingredients together here eventually and just get it out of the way now frank's red hot original buffalo sauce this is the og of the buffalo sauces original gangster for you young folks and uh now we put in our one cup of our ranch dressing now we have eight ounces of our cream cheese soft cream cheese you want to let that sit out for a good hour so it's easier to mix up and then you're gonna mix all this together. It does not take long. Just get it mixed up so everything gets incorporated. That ranch, that cream cheese, that chicken, and that Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And you wanna get that together. Now, you are gonna take here some mild cheddar cheese. You can use sharp, you can use mild, whatever you want. And in addition, we're gonna add some Monterey Jack cheese as well. 
I was looking for some pepper jack, but I could not find it in the block. So I went ahead and shredded some Monterey Jack, which is awesome. Goes great with the cheddar and mixed together. Man, this makes for a phenomenal um, dip. Uh, just incorporate that all together. And this is what we're talking about. This is the the glue for the for the buffalo chicken dip right here so looking forward to this we're just gonna add a couple more things after we get this mixed up get that cheese incorporated here we go we've got some green onions about a half a cup full right there mix that in that's gonna give it some color as well as some great flavor and texture So incorporate that. We've got some garlic powder, about one teaspoon of garlic powder. We've got one teaspoon of some cayenne pepper. Give it a little bit of kick because Frank's red hot sauce is not really that hot. <laughs> so you wanna add some of that and then some fresh ground black pepper, about another teaspoon of that. This will kick it up just enough. You can go hotter if you like. You can leave that stuff out if you like. Whatever your preference is. This is a pretty mild recipe right here. Even adding in the cayenne pepper. It's really not too spicy. That's it. Mix everything together. Make it look great. Just like so. And finally, we're going to put that into a little casserole baking dish which is going to go in the oven for three at 350 degrees baking it for 30 minutes so once you get it all in you want to spread it out make it nice and even just like that oh that looks so good <laughs> yeah so spread it out get it nice and even looking beautiful and then we're gonna top it with a little bit more cheddar cheese and a little bit more monterey jack on top of that as well <laughs> this is gonna give it that presentation because once we melt that cheese oh my god it's gonna brown up a little bit and it's gonna be absolutely phenomenal So that's it. And then finally, some more green onions, a little more color on top, just for presentation. Just put how much you, however much you think is gonna look good. So here we go, 350 for 30 minutes. And then once you cook that for 30 minutes, you're gonna pull that out. Here's what it looks like. It's nice and melted but we wanna brown that a little bit. So here you wanna put the oven on broil high and stick it back in for literally three to five minutes and just keep an eye on it because it goes really quick. This took about three and a half minutes and watch what it looks like after three and a half minutes. Absolutely amazing. It's nice and brown, bubbly, perfect. So this is our buffalo chicken dip let's go check it out Hoo -wee! Ha -ha! look at this buffalo chicken dip oh my goodness the big game coming up very soon i'll tell you right now who i'm voting for the older guy there's no question i'm voting for the older guy and you know who i'm talking about so uh yeah we need to show those little whippersnappers who's the best so we're going to do that next week so looking forward to that but first we're going to dip into this buffalo chicken dip and we are going to give you a quick close-up here we go oh yeah look at that All right, <laughs> this thing is looking absolutely amazing. I am ready to dig in, so let's give it a taste test. I've been waiting for this for a while. So 
I'm gonna use a spoon to just kind of dig it out a little bit because, oh my goodness, this is just too rich. Look at this. Here we go. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. That is so good. Give me another big old chip here. Because we're going to go for number two. Look at that. Mmm. That tastes so good. That's like chicken wings on a Tostito. It is so good. That is so tasty. Mmm. All right, enough. That's a lot of dip. This is great for bringing to a football game, a party, having people over. This makes a lot, you can see. That makes a lot of dip and very inexpensive, very easy to do. Oh my God, <laughs> came out amazing. You guys gotta give this a shot. So everybody, Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat.